So, <laughs> exactly how do you get around this turret? The hallway is so short, and it's all lit up, so as soon as I step into line of sight, I'm going to get my face shot. Yeah, the lab ex exits in a prison. <laughs> Here's the map. Doo -doo -doo. Apparently we're on the bottom floor. Right there. So, we're escaping from a lab, slash escaping from a prison. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to do the bookcase thing. Problem one, well, all right, well, there, we might have a few. There, I, I know of ways to do this. I just really, really wasn't anticipating having to use them. No way to get to that door before I get shot. I can't throw the grenade far enough from this corner here to have it affect the, uh, the turret. <sighs> um, yeah. Bio operator and a uh, mole rat directly below me. Mole rat ripping the room apart. We're the only stair up into a short hallway turret <laughs> situation. Yeah, I don't see anything else I can do short of hauling the materials up and trying to put a bookcase here. And then I can uh, get closer to the turret and throw the EMP grenades. But that means I'm going to have to go play with that stuff. Um, so, bookcase. Yeah, I need a hammer and a saw. Fab 1's no problem, but the hammer and the saw is going to be a problem. I can do the makeshift hammer. I can't remember the saw. What kind of makeshift you can do for that. Uh, Alright, let's get out of there. So, make sure hammer is easy. 2x4, chunk, or lump of steel. Easy. Uh, it's the... Uh, no. This never works. Every time I try to do saw, it never works. Yeah, I just... Uh, I'm either missing something there. Hammering, hammering, butchering, screwdriving. I think I need to get my fab up one level first. So, let's smash a few things. We're at fab zero at 72%. Uh, let's just make some more lock picks. My focus is good. Probably only need three or four. But we'll do that first. All right, fab one. Let's take a look at this list again. <laughs> yeah, it's the ads is what I'm looking for. But I think, is the ads fab or is it survival? Two survival and two fab. And there's no way for me to get survival down here. Sock mitts uses survival? <laughs> Alright. Uh, anything on that list I can do? Rags are survival. That's funny. Hmm. 
Man, this is gonna suck. This is gonna take so much preparation, and I've got no good food sources I've seen so far on the labs levels that I've cleared. Well, I need to get off this level, so I know some of the things I need to do. I need to not do them on the level where the uh, mole rat is destroying ceilings and walls, so let's get off of this level. I've got this whole level to explore. We might be able to improve things. It's possible I can come across a saw. I have seen them. And uh, there's other materials we're going to be on the lookout for as well. So... Troglobite Serum. So many bedrooms. Uh... Cable charger. Oh yeah, that's right. This is where we were previously. We did the uh, stair up, stair down thing straight out of here. Paramedics book. Ah. Already got compound delivery. spiders. There's a food source, but I'd rather him be in the room. And his buddy's coming too. Can I get you? Is there another door? Now I'm poisoned. Alright, maybe I'll die to spiders. Bedroom number 18. Excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. Utility vest. Sure, we'll take utility vest. Can I throw anything in there yet? Uh, utility vest doesn't have an activatable? I thought it did. Apparently not. It is storage. All right, poison. Feel free to wear off. And we have the shakes. And we got spider serum to go with all the other yummies.
Hey there, cyborg. Give me those bandages. Hmm. More raw materials. Uh... Hey, there's the copper wire. So that will make my life a whole lot easier as soon as I can pick it up. Lots of serums. <clears throat> Radiation badge? Don't care. And it's all going to be caved in area. Alright, nothing up this way, unfortunately. Nothing that way. I can go across this way, though. Come on. You all busy with Migo over there? I just don't want to get in a cloud of uh, man hacks. <laughs> They're doing a good job of ignoring me for the most part. Yeah, of course he hit me when I moved up. Come on. Pesky little things. No plutonium. Nothing much useful on him. More Shagas? Nope, no Shagas. That's funny. I need another one because the one I've got is going to be used to do the hammering. Alright, we gotta stop dumping stuff, or start dumping stuff.
Amplifier circuits or power converters will work. Um, all right, lots of computers in the area. I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. Just need the wood sawing ability and we'll be okay for getting the bookshelf built. And we're just about there for the EMP grenades as well. <clears throat> Think I'm just gonna keep looking around. Yeah, not worry about that stuff. Oh, another flooded area. Useless room. Take up space I can't afford, and I'm not going to be able to use those forever. Apparently, it rolled the dice and decided this was a lab with a lot of body parts. It just seems to be an all or nothing kind of thing. I either have labs with absolutely none or with tons of them. All right, this is one of the places I was looking for. So, finally, a residential area. This will give me light and uh, raw materials, and I can cook some food and all that good stuff. And water. Lots of water. So, I think I'll make a temporary base right here. Uh, let's do it in this room that's lit. All right, smash that light. So I can have a dark bedroom. And let's just make a pile right here, I guess. Keep tools. All right, much better. I'm a little happier, so we've got a place with lots of water nearby. Uh, I still don't have the basic tools that I'm hoping to get. I don't have a wrench yet. I don't have, uh, obviously the wood saw is going to be important. Uh, let's go ahead and run around and grab up all the random stuff here. All right, don't care. Nothing in there. Sort by category, and we got a pot to cook in. That's awesome. That's another important step. Oops. All right, raw materials, raw materials, raw materials. Go across the hallway. We've got multiple fire extinguishers nearby. Antifungal. All right, we'll take it. Salad is very good for you. Here. Hydrogen peroxide, some string. <laughs> Toaster and a waffle iron. Uh, can they be taken apart? Copper wire, power converter, scrap metal, and four heating elements. Grab that. Pickled fish. Oops, I actually need nails for the bookcase I'm going to have to put together. All right, so that's all of the general stuff. Uh, 
Er. Alright, we're gonna play pretend with the refrigerator and throw all the food in there. Yeah, I guess we'll throw the mutagens in there as well. Uh, couple of pots. Whoa! <laughs> They're hiding antibiotics in the sink! Alright. Uh, I'm not sure I stepped next to the sink in all the other kitchen areas. Might have. That was unexpected. So we got our oven, we got our not really functioning, but I pretend it is refrigerator, and we got our firewood source. Uh, all our raw materials are sitting here on the ground. I've got light to read and craft by. We can hop in the bedroom to go to sleep. I would like a nice pillow or two. All right, so we got our sleeping spots. Don't care about the sneakers. That is going to be a problem. That's going to keep me from sleeping. We're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> it's a great area, except for the Mego. Mego is going to really, really start annoying me. Okay, we got some raw materials set up. Um, I'm going to need computers taken apart for some of the other raw materials. Tired. I'm not going to be able to sleep because of that stupid Mego, though. And I really don't have the ability to kill a Mego. And I don't have earplugs. Hmm. Why did it have to be a Mego? Is there a makeshift noise cancellation item? I don't remember. Well, yeah, noise canceling headgear, sure, but uh, I've got zero skills and very little in the way of materials that would have something like that be available.
Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a whole crap load of crafting in here either. I think we're going to have to, though. i got to deal with this Mego first. My little base area is not useful if I can't sleep. Uh, I actually haven't finished exploring this level either. I've still got a couple other doors to go check. I just wanted to sleep before I did. That's going to be hard with Mr. Mego here. So I'm trying to see where I can lead him. <clears throat> I've got a stairs down. I could drop him down a level if I can survive long enough to get to it. He's pretty quick, though, so I'm worried about him chopping me up. I think what I'll do is actually temporarily sleep on another floor myself if I have to. If I can't seem to get far enough away from him. Do I still hear him over here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that dude is loud. Uh, this is going to be another one of those dead end areas. Useless room. Stairs up and this area. There's the dead end part. Another library. Sure, bypass security. Unlock. Hey, we actually got it this time. Alright, we are in a library. wonder if I can still hear the guy over here. <laughs> Historic weaponsmith, advanced economics, effective communication, meat jerky. Cookbook. Sewing techniques is good. First aid is good. Augmentative deck review. And I ran out of space already. Wow, I'm just not used to playing with uh, without having really, really low item spawn. We're going to have to come back and get some of these. Vending machines even work. No V8, though. Alright, so we got emergency food and water. Can I hear that guy over here? Finally. <laughs> Not a good place to sleep. Uh, no bedrooms in this section. Nope. Alright. Good to know it's here. Let's head back and drop this stuff off. Okay, I think that's all I care about from here for now. Um, got a little bit of carry space, but not going to worry about that yet. A lot of computers I can take apart. Alright, let's have some uh, herbal tea. And some fruit butters.
One more door to check out. North wall is solid. I've got a door right here and a door right here to check, and I think we're done with this level. Can I hear the guy over here? Alright, we might be able to sleep down in this corner. That way at least... Oh, another residential area. Flooded. That's okay, though. Taylor's kit. Hey, Battle of Jank. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for following. All right, can't go west. And go east. So yeah, I do have another section right here to check out. Uh, a little bit of carry capacity still. Alright, this I'm familiar with. Another skitter bot. Bad skitter bots. And we got one more. kind of weird because it uh, doesn't have this section right here. Hello, turret. <laughs> All right, can't get to it that way. Uh, must be an entrance right here leads into this 3x3 three three grid, but I'm still curious about this little not used section. Seems a little odd. Guess we'll go ahead and go up and around. Cyborg in there, I hope. Ah, skater bots everywhere. Blob. Didn't look like a useful room anyway. God damn it. <laughs> Things are just too quick. To get caught there because I don't want North to be my only escape route. Alright, Skitterbot's trapped again, and we're in a dead end area anyway. Alright, nothing useful down here. Floor's done. Yep, nowhere else to go. Alright, we need to go sleep. We're gonna go to that back bedroom and try to sleep. to make absolute sh Nah, I don't want to sleep in a place I can't close doors. Alright, all the doors are closed. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're running out of stamina. Oh, oh, we must have got irradiated by one of the scientists. That's not good. Serum time? No, I'm leery about taking the serums. I don't want to get stuck on another branch. 
think I'm pretty well cemented into uh, mouse, but I'm really worried. If I took one, it would be the rat. All right, get your breath back first. We'll go ahead and we'll take the rat serum before we go to bed. So let's go, go up and grab that real quick. Oops. All right, we'll take the rat serum, and I've still got the... No, I don't have the syringe. All right, where'd my syringe go? <laughs> Guess we won't be doing one if I don't have a syringe. My syringe disappeared. Yeah, I can't take it right now. It's... Apparently I dropped my syringe at some point, so I don't have what I need to uh, to do it. Uh, what I mean by the mutation line is each mutations are divided into groups or trees, and they're mostly named after animals or creatures. So there's the rat line, the canine line, the feline line, and so on. Um, when you start taking mutations, you tend to it's weighted. So if you're mutation list is mostly in a particular line, you're more likely to get additional mutations from that line. So I don't want to take mutations from lines I don't plan on actually staying in. I'm trying to go what's called post-threshold. You have to take enough serums and such from the specific one line you want. Then when you get to a certain point, um, continuing to take it will push you over the threshold, and then that gets you grant, grants you access to certain high-level mutations only available in that specific chain or tree. Um, and you're locked out of any other post-threshold lines from that point forward. So you can only be one post-threshold mutation line. So I don't want to take, for example, several of a particular serum. Like if I took three spider serums, I would end up slanting all of my next mutations on the spider line. Um... And it would not be what I want. <laughs> yeah, no mutation. No mu moose mutation line. But yeah, somewhere I lost my syringe. We'll come across more. So I'll do it at some point. But for now, I just need to go get a good sleep so we can get our healing done. So we're going to try to sleep right here. No blankies, just pillows. I, I want a blankie. All right, so, um, one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, oh, yeah. Time to sleep. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Really, really hope we're far enough away from that Migo. Let's find out. Come on, Torso. Ah, from the northeast, you hear bang, and it wakes me up. <laughs> That's not cool. Somebody wandered into a turret. Uh, and he's going to keep doing it. If it's a zombie, he'll just keep standing up and getting shot again. Uh, try again. Come on. Nope. Now I heard an anguished wail. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. I can't go upstairs because that's the level with the mole rats and the other problems. If I go downstairs, puts me into a similar area. Let's see if I can sleep here. Close all these doors. Let's try again. Come on. Nice, quiet little uh, lab level, please. <laughs> hey there, AVAC. Yeah, it's the new map memory function, so you can actually turn it off, but uh, it's actually really, really useful for lab exploration. 
Okay, we woke up. We managed to get full health. Um, as you can see, I was on this level previously, so it makes it really easy to see where you've been and uh, backtrack to places until it fades. Um, it'll fade after a little while, depending on your set, your uh, memory and certain traits and CBMs and such. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a little few funky things about it, um, but for the most part, it's really helpful, especially for labs. Labs in particular is where it really, really helps out. All right, so back to our pile of stuff. So we've got the interesting dilemma of trying to escape from the lab that is attached to a prison. <laughs> and the floor that it puts us on the prison has a shortened corridor with the turret right up close and the entire corridor is lit up. So I've got a problem in that I can't stand in the back end where normally you can come up from the ladder and you can then throw things at the turret or throw a grenade at it and so on. I don't have that option. I have to build a uh, bookshelf or something to block the turret's line of sight, then move forward with uh, it in front of me to get close enough to the turret to then throw a uh, EMP grenade. So I've got to get EMP grenades built. I've got to get a bookcase built so that I can get that turret taken care of. And that just gets me finally to the door where I still need the key card or some other method of getting through the wall. So, and then we have to get out of the prison proper. So it, the map, <laughs> the random map turned into not just a lab escape, it's a lab escape, prison escape, screw vorm combo. So <laughs> that's kind of what we're working towards. So I need to stay alive long enough for that to happen. We've got a few of the levels mapped out. So we've got the level I'm on here fully mapped. Uh, we've got the level above me mapped. And the one above that is the uh, level where the prison is. And then below me, I've got a small amount mapped. I haven't found a finale room yet. Uh, so we're working on a few things. Food is going to be a bit of an issue. Only food I've seen of any size is a couple of spiders, and I forget where they were running around at. Um, wasn't this floor. Yeah, actually, maybe it was this floor. I should have marked them. I lost track of where they were. But uh, we got some more exploring to do, and i got to stay alive long enough to get some skills up. The... Bookcase building is going to be the hard part right now. I don't have a wood saw, and I don't have the skills for an ads to give me the uh, wood sawing ability. So, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. So, let's have some uh, nachos. And some lemonade. More lemonade. More nachos. Some water. Oh, have a beer. And some veggie pizzas. Ouch, all the veggie pizzas. Still not full. All right, we managed to get full. So, stats are looking pretty good. Ouch. All right. Um, what to work on next? So, here's my problem. I don't have any tools with the uh, ability for the wood cutting. I'm going to level my fa fabrication one more. Uh, we're at fab one. Yeah, just base one. So let's do what do I do next? Wooden needles, I think. Splintered wood. 20 minutes. Maybe that's not it. Knitting needle. Yeah, knitting needle. Three minutes. Splintered wood. Not sure how much I have of that. Uh, do not enough. 136 focus is good. Let's grab... Let's grab a few things, actually. Close all the windows. No, I don't want to peek. <laughs> tear them down, tear them down, tear them down. Give me the strings. Actually, haul it all. God, that guy's annoying. Uh, right there is fine. Uh, 
Here's another uh, mechanic you may not be aware of, AVAC. You can now haul items on the ground. You just activate it with the backslash key and uh, you can turn it on and off. And it allows you to drag items on the ground without having to use the advanced inventory shuffle. <laughs> very, very useful. All right, now I am going to use the advanced inventory though. Give me three two by fours, butcher, cut up everything, 15 splintered woods. All right, I'll leave the rest of that alone. And. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do five and five. Ignore him. There's Fab 2, which doesn't fix my problem. So I need survival skill, and I'm going to have to craft to do it. making sure I'm not forgetting something. No, not forgetting anything. So, the woodcutting problem. Now, I still haven't got the ID card, so I mean, I could just ignore all this until I go get the ID card, because I don't have any other useful way through those walls up top anyway. And I may not survive getting the ID card, so I do have night vision, which will help. But as always, it's the first door you open into the finale treasure room that decides whether you're going to live or die. Um, if there's a sentry bot sitting a space away when you open the door and get your face shot off. So I'm tempted to just keep exploring before I go through the process of grinding all this stuff. And I think that's what I am going to do. I think it's more useful for me to do that. But I do want to read these books real quick just to get them off the list here and see... What options we've got. Maybe one of these will give me a recipe. Okay. First aid, electronics, throwing... No computer books. I was really hoping to get computers 301 and SICP make my getting into labs and or libraries and barracks a little easier. Uh, we're not going to spend time doing any of this stuff. Throwing to three for the grenades isn't going to be useful anymore because I'm going to use a bookshelf to creep up to the thing anyway, so I don't have to worry about that skill. Uh, fab to three, and I can do some other stuff. Did that change any of this list? I don't think it did. Hey there, Jolimon. Thanks for following. Welcome to the channel. Yeah. I'm still stuck leveling up the uh, survival skill. So it's going to be Bindles. Yeah, it's going to be Bindles first. 48 seconds. Yeah, that's real quick. Let's do that now. Bindles, Bindles. And... Survival's at... Nope, it's... Oh, yeah, we did. We hit level one. All right, so now... Fab, fab. Digging stick. 20 minutes. One minute for Tinder. Tinder is what we're going to do. Batch. Five at a time. Out of... Do the rags. All right, well, that was a little faster than I thought. So, now we can do the ads. Ads. That's going to give us the... Uh, is that what I need? Yeah, wood sign of one, so that'll work. All right, so... Uh, all right, we got our ads put together. So now, when we look up book, all we... Uh, did I fail? Oh, I failed it. <laughs> I was wondering. Got confused for a second. Failed again. Are we going to level up off of an ad that we fail multiple times? And we finally got it. All right, so we got the stone ads. So now, 
Okay, so all I need to do is get 12 2x4s and 16 nails up to that uh, top area, spend an hour putting a bookcase together, and then we can get that part done. So, the next key is going to be the EMP grenades. Um, I just need some computer parts and some solder. I do have the soldering iron. Um, let's look this back up again. So, I'm going to need more things like power converters and that that I can take apart for the solder. Uh, so, we're going to find a computer terminal room. I don't think I have any on this floor. Not really. I don't have any on this floor. I know there's some on one of the other floors at least. Um, and I'll spend some time disassembling the computer terminals and then the subsequent parts and I'll get some solder put together. That'll give us the EMP grenades. So, theoretically, we'll be able to get out of here uh, or get the terminal taken care of. The uh, turret taken care of. I don't know... That corridor with the turret, it had a single door on the left-hand side. I have no idea what the area is going to look like, that hallway and the subsequent rooms, since it's attached to a prison. It's kind of a different setup, so I'm not sure what I might find there. And we have the added problem of the mole rat sitting right on top of my one stair out. <laughs> I still can't believe we had the mole rat and the bio-operator fighting each other right there near my stair. The only stair out of this place. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go exploring, though. We got most things done that we need to get done. Um, hungry and thirsty again. Let's get that topped off. Let's have... Really rather not dip into that, but we're going to have to... All right, I think that's going to be good enough. Um, don't need to take the tailor's kit with me. <laughs> or any of these stupid bindles. All right, got everything set back up again. Got to keep an eye out for the syringe as well, so I can start taking some of these mutagens, or serums. Okay, so we're done on this floor. We got a stairs down not far off. We'll go take that. We've got everything mapped out. This floor is mapped, the floor above me is mapped, and the floor above that is the hallway with the turret. And I think I've got the floor below this one. Eh, not quite all mapped, it looks like. Oh yeah, that's right. This is where we had the stair up, stair down. But I think I did map the whole thing, and it was a small level, and I mentioned it. Uh, no big computer rooms? Um, eh, no, I'm not worried about it. With the mapping feature, it's easy to move up and down until it starts fading, of course. And I think... The EMP grenades don't keep me alive. The EMP grenades are great when I'm actually deciding to try to get into the, the finale room, but usually when I'm playing this kind of a character, I don't actually fight the sentry bots. Uh, if I've got decent night vision, I just walk around them. They can only see you, as long as the finale room's not lit, they can only see you within a couple of spaces. So it's fairly easy for this kind of a character to uh, just walk around them. So I'm not super concerned about the sentry bots. Alright, getting stuck by a turret is a different matter, but that's just random accidentally hitting the wrong key and stepping in front of it. And occasionally the <laughs> the lab design now will put a turret in an odd location that you're not expecting and you'll get shot, but uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I'm done on this floor as well. We're going to go down again. Alright, so we haven't been here. Actually, we have. Did we just forget the whole thing? I think we just forgot the whole thing. All right, hey there, hazmat zombie. Oh, I didn't bring my crowbar. <laughs> All right, well, we're going back up again. Actually, no. I'll be. I'll make another one real quick from these lockers uh, as soon as I finish killing this zombie. Ooh. 
Lots of little hits. 5.6 dodge, not too bad considering the gear we're carrying. Come here, Geiger counter. Hmm, gas mask. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not wearing some of my clothing items. I don't have that much carry capacity. Alright, maybe we are going back. I can't carry anything. Uh yeah, that's not good. Let's let's get that sorted out. I'm not sure what I did to uh get that arrangement wrong. Did they just get blown off my body? Huh. Not sure what's going on. Because I had my coat and my, whoops, my hoodie. Hmm. Yeah, that's the tonfa. Yeah, I got a lot of odd stuff on me. We'll dump the bindles, dump the battery, don't need the hydrogen. Don't need the soldering iron, and I don't need ten pairs of kneading needles. That still eh, it gets me some space, but not as much as I thought. I'm missing some clothing items. Guess I'll be on the lookout for replacements. Go ahead and take off again. Keep this moving. Forty solder, amplifier circuits, copper wire. That's actually perfect. So these are great for um, you can disassemble these with the right tools. Metal tanks, steel frames, all sorts of good stuff. So, and there's different kinds here. Not all of them have the metal tanks, but uh, it's good to know it's here. So depending on what you're trying to build, a lot of opportunities. Let's have some. Peaches and oranges. Yum yum. Hey, there's our syringe. Alright, now we can shoot up in the style again. Alright, this is usually a pretty good room for getting uh, serums and stuff off of these shelves. No, not going to get lucky this time. Bandages. No, not this time. Let's go south first. Alright, we got some disinfectant now. Hey, plutonium cells. You know what that means? More plutonium cells! <laughs> Ten plutonium cells. That means I can make my atomic lamp. Then I don't have to worry about being uh, in the lit areas to settle down anymore. Uh, yeah. I'd like that normally, but uh, I think I'm going to leave that there for now. First aid kit, metal tongs, 